Hi, welcome to episode one of What Sarah Said, a brand new podcast with me, Sarah Houghton, the author of Librarian in Black uh, and a librarian in black. Uh, this is a podcast where I will answer questions from my readers and viewers and do my best to help out. And today's first question comes from Suzanne, and she says, Okay, so what exactly do the copyright laws say about making one copy of a magazine article for personal use, burning a CD for personal use? I know you're not supposed to, but every laptop does this, so is it really truly illegal? And finally, showing a DVD at a school as a fundraiser. All right, so three parts, three separate questions, and the answer to all three is yes, that is a violation of copyright. So let's take these one by one. Uh, first off, uh, making a copy of a magazine article for personal use. If you're not making a copy of a subscription that you already paid for yourself, for example, if you're making a copy of a subscription that your local library paid for, a friend paid for, that's a violation of copyright because you're making an unauthorized copy of an entire work and in this case, the work is the article. The second question, burning a CD for personal use. Uh, you're entitled to make a backup copy of CDs that you've already purchased. So in case they get damaged or something, uh, you can make a, a backup copy, kind of an archival copy, if you will. Can't share that copy, but you can make that copy and, and keep it in case the first one gets damaged. Uh, but if you're making a, uh, a burned CD, let's say from, again, a library copy or a friend's copy, that is a violation of copyright. Uh, and then lastly, showing a DVD at a school as a fundraiser. Uh, movie companies require that you pay them a screening fee, a, a broadcast fee, a, a display fee, they call it different things, uh, in order to uh, make some money back on that movie. So. Uh, even if you're not showing it at a giant movie theater, if you're just showing it to a room of 25 year olds, it doesn't matter. They still require you to pay that fee in order to, to, to screen that, that film that, that they paid to make. And so showing it at a school as a fundraiser, or even not, even if there's no money involved at all and you're just showing it for free, that is still a violation uh, of copyright because you haven't paid the rights holders what they uh, legally require you to pay in order to use their product. So the short answer is basically none of those things is okay. Uh, and the lesson is that just because it's easy to do technically doesn't mean that it's not a violation of the law. It doesn't mean that it's not a violation of copyright. So we all have to be very careful in both what we do as library professionals, but also in what we tell other people that they can and can't do. Uh, we need to be comfortable with the law. We need to understand uh, what's admissible and what isn't. Uh, otherwise, we're giving people bad advice, and as information professionals, we don't like that. So thanks for your question, Suzanne, and uh, congratulations on being our inaugural question for the first podcast, and I hope I'll see everyone else for episode two.